Hello everybody, Fuzzfinger here and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I know we've got a few Let's Plays going on at the moment all at once. So what I would say is if you like the look of this game, then please do let me know in the comment section if you wish me to continue with this. And I will be happy to do so, even if it means I am busy doing YouTube a lot of the time, which I am anyway at the moment. Um, I'm happy to carry on with it if you wish me to do so. So this is Child of Light, I'm playing it on the PS4. I did have a quick 10 minute go with it last night. And I've got to say, I did get into it, but uh, I had to come off because I realised quite quickly that, yeah, I'm going to want to do the playthrough on YouTube for this, so I'm going to want to start again. And it's an RPG, it's got a beautiful uh, score to it, you can hear that in the background, that uses, and it uses the Rayman Legends engine, I believe. So you can imagine it's going to look pretty gorgeous. But without any further ado, let's get started with Child of Light. Uh, yeah, we'll start over. I'm happy to do that. And we'll go for the normal difficulty. Child, tuck yourself in bed and let me tell a story of Lemuria, a long lost kingdom, and a girl born for glory. In Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke. Aurora was his daughter child of a duchess mysterious, beloved by her father. He raised the girl alone, they were rarely apart, till the duke felt lonely and misplaced his heart. It was the Great Friday before Easter 1895. Players performed for the duke, his new bride at his side. That night Aurora went to sleep, the fire burned down low. She caught a chill that spread. Her skin was cold as snow. At dawn they found her, vacant. Aurora's light gone out. Her father wept and pleaded, but there could be no doubt. For all intents and purposes, Aurora was dead. And yet, once upon a time, she awoke in a strange land instead. So a lot of the dialogue in this game is done in a rhyming, uh, poetry type sense. Which I think works really well actually, it kind of adds to the surreal atmosphere that the game wants to seem to give you anyway. So we're taking on the role of this young girl, or, or Aurora, who seems to be in some kind of dream or nightmare state. And we're basically going to have to try and figure out what's going on. Child of Light. So this game is available, obviously, on the PS4, because that's what I'm playing it on. But on all the other consoles as well, so the PS3, uh, the Xbox, uh, PC as well. And uh, also the Wii U as well, I think it's on the Wii U, so you might want to just check that out. Uh, being an RPG, we will have to fight monsters and level up our character. You can see there we're starting off with 14 hit points and 6 mana points. There's nothing over there, so I'm not going to uh, waste time by venturing. I did try going over there yesterday. There's a few different game mechanics that I'm not going to spoil for you, uh, but we will be introduced to them as we progress quite quickly as well. Within the next couple of episodes we should have uh, most of the stuff that the game's going to give us. But things do get quite interesting, I'll say that. A little bit uh, fun for us, hopefully, and fun for you. So this game caught me by surprise, to be honest. I'd heard about some of the previews for it uh, before like within the last few months or so but other than that I hadn't really like known much about it I'm just gonna go down here because I've got a feeling there's a secret somewhere possibly down here okay there's a monster that we can't yet access uh, yeah so what was I saying oh right um, I'd seen a few of the previews but it wasn't really on my radar this game I don't know why, it just never really like caught my fancy, but IGN did their review and I've read a few other reviews as well and it's got glowing reviews. 
So I thought, yeah, I've got to give this a try. I like RPGs anyway, as many of you who follow my channel will know. We get a lot of Final Fantasy stuff on there. And I like platformers as well. So I thought I'd give it a try, and I'm glad I did. I am glad I did. So, oh, uh, uh, obviously distressed here. She doesn't know what's going on. But who's this little fellow? I'm not going to read the dialogue. I think this game doesn't have voice acting for a reason. I'm going to just say, point this out, try not to commentate over the dialogue either. Because of the way it's written, I think it's, you know, important to read without distraction. So we've got a little buddy now to join us on our adventure. And we can control him with the right analog stick. And we can make him glow by pushing down the touchpad or by holding the uh, L2 button, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna tell us about that in a moment. Although making him glow, which we need to do to access certain parts of the game world, uh, does deplete that energy bar that you can see he has up in the top left of the screen. And there's a little secret down here, our first healing tonic, which, as you can imagine, will restore health for us if we need it to do so. We can't get up there, although there is a little area over there, we just can't access it. Not yet, anyway. So we'll go back over the bridge here. Little Firefly buddy will uh, just follow you along if you're not controlling him. So as you can see, it is a very good looking game. These gems here, which we can collect either with Aurora or with the Firefly, will restore uh, both his energy bar and also our health and mana. These green and purple ones will do the latter if we need it uh, replenishing, which in this occasion we didn't. But there we go. I'm not sure if they have any other benefits. But I guess at this point we're just practicing using them. Obviously if you don't get the orange one first, then you won't complete the chain and you won't get the health and mana ones. So yeah, definitely taken a, uh, a game tactic out of Rayman. That has not it with the Lums. Something similar happens in that game anyway with the lums. So here we're going to get introduced to a brand new mechanic now involving our Firefly buddy. And we're going to have to get him to cast a shadow on the symbols around here. So we're going to put him in front of these devices which are poking in the ground. And then we can manoeuvre the symbols into their corresponding locations on the tree. And the last one over here. Where's he gone? There it is. Help if I'm doing the right one. And now we have access to our next location. Right, 
right, so now we are going to gain access to our weapon. As you can imagine, that's only going to signify one thing, that we're about to enter battle. And here comes our first opponent. So battles in this game take place uh, on a different screen and they're kind of like turn based. Uh, you can cast or whenever a character reaches that cast bar on the right there then they can act. So we're going to slash this guy with our standard weapon attack. If you glow on the monster then he will slow down as he moves across you can see that. Unfortunately, he's still going to beat us on this case, so I am going to uh, defend. That will prevent us from taking a lot of damage. We take one there instead of, well, I'd imagine about two we would normally take. And you can also collect some of the uh, health orbs and whatnot around here. And you can see we get XP at the end of the battle. So we're well on our way to level two already as we enter the next area. If you can sneak up on enemies then you'll get a sneak attack and you can sort of freeze them in place with uh, your shiny firefly buddy. Uh, so there's the tutorial on how to slow which I might do. We might be able to get a double attack in here. Yeah, there we go, look easy. And everything freezes when you go through the menu. So you can still collect all your lums and whatnot. I call them lums, they're not lums. All your orbs uh, before you choose what you want to do. And the enemy will just have to wait. And that should level us up now, it has. So as you would expect, you get your normal stat increases and you also get a skill point to spend. What I'm probably going to do, because these square ones are abilities and these circle ones are stat increases. So we'll probably get the abilities that are around here first and follow that on with some stat increases. If we go for Starlight first of all, that could potentially be useful for us. And we'll go through the other menu options as and when uh, we need to do so. Before we head right, I'm just going to make sure we're not missing anything over here. There are some uh, orbs for us to get, but I'm not going to bother in all honesty. Might get these ones though. Yep. Right then. So the game will freeze this guy and try and attack him, there we go. So with the surprise attack we obviously get a free attack at the start and we're going to start with our new starlight spell because that should kill him in one hit and it does. Magic potions, as you might expect, restore your MP. Another healing tonic. Should we see if there's anything hiding down here? Uh, actually, there isn't. But there are secrets in this game. It's also a bit of a puzzle game. Although, at the moment, things have uh, been quite linear for us. Uh, in a little bit, we do start having little puzzles and whatnot to solve. makes things nice and interesting I suppose. Right then, so we're once again going to Starlight. And if we slow this guy down, maybe we'll overtake him on the time bar. As you can see that mechanic is particularly useful. Now we can't Starlight because we haven't got the MP to do so, so we'll just attack him. 
but now that we're level 2, our attack is enough to kill them anyway. Obviously, as you progress through the game, you'll get harder monsters. I think that goes without saying, though, really, doesn't it? So our little fellow can shine up if he... Oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> and, uh, like the area, but at least it shows you that you can get ambushed in this game as well. Right then. So I think we'll slow this guy down and we'll slash on this fellow and then if we can we'll overtake him on the battle bar I don't know what it's actually called but I'm going to call it the battle bar the ATB gauge maybe, who knows right, and we'll quickly replenish our stuff since we are level 3 it might be a good idea just to hit the options menu, go to our skills and learn light ray and now we have all four of these abilities so we can start doing some stat upgrades as well uh, let's just see what's over here there's a nice treasure chest for us with a magic potion I'm sure we'll put that to good use in the near future And we've got a box to push, which we'll push over to the other side so that we can gain access to the next level. Those spiders, I think they're uh, not going to hurt us until later on. Ah, we've reached chapter 2. Okay guys, I think that seems like a good place to uh, finish this episode. Actually, before we do that, let's just see what's up here. Another battle for us. We can do that, can't we? I don't think we can access that treasure chest though. Not just yet. Right then, who's who? We'll slash that guy. And we'll just go through the usual routine of slowing this one down. Overtake him. As you can see, we are doing more damage every time we level up, which is good to see. And we get another batch of stat increases. We'll now be moving up to 32 health. Which means we can go ahead and spend a point either in MP upgrade increases our maximum MP or increase our magic defense. What skills do we have over here? Elevate damage which sounds pretty nice. Starlight which sounds like a good damage spell. Over on this side we have defend. We've already got defend haven't we? Okay well We've got Slash there. Okay, that's Slash level 2 and that's Defend level 2. I can tell by the stars above them. That's fair enough. We've got Counter Attack down this side. And Counter Attack. So we've got sort of like a magic set of skills over here. Defensive over here. And perhaps more of a physical set over here. Should we go this side? So Magic Defense upgrade. We'll go ahead with that. And then we'll go for the Dodge next time as well. And we'll just finish off by grabbing the... Ah, we messed that up anyway. Not to worry. Alright, folks. Okay, so we're going to finish off here today. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Trust me, there's still a lot more to come. We haven't unlocked all the game mechanics yet. And things will get a little bit more exciting. But hopefully this first episode's given you a feel for this game. It's all very surreal, isn't it, as I mentioned earlier. You can sort of like just get lost in it if that makes sense. It's that sort of game. Uh, please don't forget if you want to see me continue with this, post a comment and also share this episode with your friends on Facebook as well. And subscribe to my YouTube channel to be kept up to date with future releases. I'll see you next time guys for more Child of Light. Bye for now.